Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the things in my life that I want to change. Just to get back onto an even keel, I don't know whether anyone else feels like this, um, but sometimes I feel like I'm just treading water, just trying to keep my head above water. Do you ever get that feeling? Um, so it's a bit of a chatty video, but I do like these for the fact that I get loads of feedback and comments from you, and I really love that because it makes you feel like you're not the only person that's experiencing what you're experiencing, and it makes you feel like you're not going completely mad. And I know that um, people always say to me, oh, for goodness sakes, give yourself a break. You've just had two babies. They're really close together. They're still really young. Um, you know, of course, you're going to feel overwhelmed by everything. But I think that a lot of people are feeling the way that I'm feeling, whether they've had babies or not. I just think that life is so different now. It's so fast paced. We never turn off. We never give ourselves time just to sort of enjoy life and be in the moment. And actually I talk about that in my last video, which is all about stress and stress relief. So if you haven't seen that one, um, I will link to it at the end and it's linked to below as well. But I thought I'd take you around the house, weirdly, and um, talk about all the different things I want to make changes to, uh, just to feel like I'm back on an even keel. And you know, I can't, I can't really change the important things in my life because I don't want to change them. So, you know, I could give myself more time to work, which is a massive sticking point at the moment because I'm frustrated, there are so many things I want to do, I feel like I'm spread too thinly. And actually I want to talk to you about that at the end of the video because I need your advice on something. It's quite pivotal actually to how I continue with what I'm doing here on A Model Recommends and The Uphill. So I need your feedback on that. Um, but you know, I have a nanny two days a week and that is enough. I feel like I don't want any more time away from the children because they're not going to be babies forever and I want to see them, you know, while they're still little and before they go to school. And so, you know, I want to work more but I don't have the time to work more and I want to spend the same amount of time with the children. So that's a massive balance problem right there. And I can't do anything about that because there isn't an answer to that apart from getting more hours in the day. So the things that I'm going to change are little things I think will just make me feel better on the whole and maybe will make life a little bit easier perhaps. And I did talk about my decluttering and trying to define a workspace. I talked about that in the other video as well so make sure you check that out if you haven't watched it. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about that today. So let's get started with some of the changes that I feel really need to happen actually for my sanity and well-being. Okay, one of the major things I need to sort out, this sort of ties in with what I'm going to talk about, about diets. Sorry, Angelica's asleep next door, so I'm, I'm whispering. But I have to sort out my wardrobe and my underwear and get out of a lot of the maternity things that I've been wearing. But you know what? It's a very vicious circle because my diet is bad, so I don't feel that confident about my figure. And so there are a lot of things I don't want to wear. I can't get back into a lot of old clothes. But I don't want to buy a load of new clothes if they're not going to fit me or they're never going to fit me. I don't know. And to be honest, it's not really a wardrobe issue, is it? It's, um, it's a diet issue. However, I have been thinking, and this is what I've come in here for, is that if I threw out all of my really baggy, what I like to call my comfort clothes, so like massive yoga pants, big oversized tracksuit bottoms that aren't in my size. Um, things like my soft maternity bras, feeding bras. I mean, like I haven't been breastfeeding for months. Jeans, maternity jeans. Oh my God, maternity jeans are so comfortable. Like stretchy panels over the tummy. Why am I still in those? I shouldn't still be wearing those. That's ridiculous. I thought to myself, maybe if I start sort of forcing myself to wear more structured clothes, then that will be the incentive to get back in shape. So um, that's what's happening. I'm gonna do a little sort out and get rid of all the stuff 
that I shouldn't be wearing. Like oversized tracksuit bottoms that I wore when I was massively pregnant. They're about two sizes, two UK sizes, too big for me. So I have to sort of keep holding them up. But I just love it because they don't feel tight. As soon as something feels tight on your body, I think that um, it, it irritates me. And then the more I get irritated, I just get frustrated. And then I take them off, I put my tracksuit on and I eat some chocolate. So as I said, vicious cycle. But I have all of this beautiful dressing room with all of these wardrobes filled with my old clothes. Actually, one of them's filled with Mr. AMR's coats. How someone's got so many coats and they all look exactly the same. They're all the same coat. Um, and his jeans. He's got like eight pairs of the same jeans. But there are loads of things that I just, I'd like to be able to wear. And so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is diet. So let's pop on down the stairs. Okay, so diet. Oh. Hi. Right. What's happened? This is a bit freaky. Creaky? Freaky. Freaky? What's happened to it? I think it's leaked. <gasps> Something's leaked in the cupboard. However, it's actually quite a good uh, segue into my little thing about diet. Because... The diet thing has just gone rapidly downhill for the last couple of years, but I think it's reached a peak recently. I'm filming something. <laughs> Hide all the really bad stuff just while you're at it. So, I did a video years and years ago about my five best diet tips, and I'm, I've re -we, re -we, re watched it, and it makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna to link to it, and if I remember to do it, I'll link to it here on the screen. Um, because it's basically common sense stuff, like if you don't wanna to have to eat it, don't buy it. So if you're obsessed with chocolate and biscuits and cakes and things like that, don't have them in the cupboard. You know, just don't buy them from the supermarket, and it is as easy as that. So my main um, fall downs are things that we have in, the cupboard, like biscuits, biscuits are terrible. Um, chocolate, which in the drawer down there, like dark chocolate, what do you want now? Um, not sweets, because I don't really buy those. A lot of stuff gets sent, actually, as like press, little press things, press promotional bits of chocolate, <coughs> promotional biscuits. It's like, stop doing that, people, because you're gonna make me really unhealthy. My other downfall is, Coke, Coca-Cola, regular red cans of Coca-Cola. And um, yeah, I, I sort of have them for energy because I don't drink tea or coffee. And so I don't have one a day. Sometimes like on a bad week, I'll have one a day. But normally I'd say it's about two or three cans a week. Recently though, I've realized they've given me a really bad stomach ache whenever I've had one. So I think that might be fate or whoever telling me to stop drinking them. So. That's the thing, I'm gonna stop buying crap, basically. The other thing is to get a bit more prepared in terms of um, preparing meals and cooking stuff. Because at the moment, I'm just tired, I don't feel like cooking anything, and when it gets to eating, I just want something really quick, and I don't feel like I've got the energy to even think about what I want to make. So I'm gonna plow through my cookbooks, which actually are all, where are all the cookbooks? Are your dad's? All our cookbooks are still being stored um, at Mr. AMR's dad's house, along with all the other books, because we moved in two phases, and so lots of stuff isn't even in the house yet, which is actually scary, because the house feels full of rubble. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go through my cookbooks, I'm gonna mark the recipes that I think will be quick and easy, and then I'm gonna have like a plan, a weekly planner, and even if it's just seven meals and we have the same ones every week on rotation, I don't even care because it's better than going and getting fish and chips all the time and, <laughs> what? Yeah, but that's fine once in a while, but we have them all the time. McDonald's breakfasts. To be fair, we don't do takeaways because nobody delivers to us, so that's, um, that's actually quite useful. But we do tend to rely 
on quite bad things. However, I can see Mr. AMR shaking his head in the background. He's having a tuna and sweet corn sandwich over there because I think that I do over dramatize things. And so in my head, this terrible diet that we've got is probably worse than it is because we actually do cook an evening meal every night pretty much. And um, we don't eat out a lot. So I don't know, I'm probably being a little bit over dramatic about it. However, this is my main, my main problem. If we go through to here, which is the Heidi fridge, um, full of the bad things like beer and stuff like that for, I don't know, why have we got another fridge? Anyway, we've got this fridge. Um, oh, that's right, because the fridge in there doesn't have a freezer. So this one we bought with us and it's got a freezer. It's like, it used to be our overspill fridge freezer and now it's a freezer with added drink storage. And um, in here, let's just take a little look. You can have a little look at the thing that is most terrible in my life. Magnums, especially mint choc magnums. Oh my God, they're so amazing. They are like... I can't even tell you, they're like God's nectar in a frozen form. And um, if I could have one every single night, I would. But we limit ourselves. We do. Actually, when was the last time we had a mint magnum? Over a week ago. Over a week ago, mainly because we haven't been here and, and we've been up with Ted and all that kind of stuff. But at one point, we were having one every single night. So we've cut down on those dramatically. So I don't know why that's even a problem, actually. Look, drama queen, told you. I had to come outside for a bit of sun because it is absolutely sweltering hot um, outside. It's amazing. I wish I had some sunglasses, so. Following on from diet, what I meant to say inside, but I can't film when Mr. AMR's there because I find it really off-putting because I can hear him listening to things that I'm saying and then he's sort of like huffing and sniggering and stuff in the background and I just think, am I completely mad? I can hear him now. So following on from the diet thing. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm so grumpy. <laughs> I am literally the grumpiest person in the world. Um, no, no patience levels, no tolerance levels. This is why things have got to change. I have got to chill that out. Um, yeah, so exercise follows on from the whole clothing dilemma, the diet dilemma. Um, I just need to do some of it. Some exercise, full stop. Whether it's yoga, Pilates, I don't know, I can't run because my knees are made of chalk, so I just crumble like that guy out of, um, Rach, what's that film with, um, is it Samuel L. Jackson in it and his bones just keep breaking, it's got Bruce Willis in, and he's, and Samuel L. Jackson's in a wheelchair. Not the bone collector. Not the bone collector, no. <laughs> Unbreakable? Or breakable. Oh, it's obviously not unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be called unbreakable. <laughs> oh, Ted. Anyway, yeah, my um, my ankles and my knee bones are not good, so running is out. But maybe swimming? I don't know. I just need to do something. I know that. So that is going to be a big change this year. Watch this space. I bet in about six months' time, I'll be like, oh, get off, Ant. I'll be like, I've still done nothing. It's a thought that counts, isn't it? Oh, now, I talked about the digital detox thing in my last video, and I thought I'd touch on it again because I didn't really go into a lot of the reasoning why I felt like a digital detox was important. And that is, I found in the last year or so that I've more and more been comparing myself to other people online which I think is really unhealthy. And I think that everybody does it, but especially if you, if your job is online, you work in that space, um, it's really unhelpful to be doing that. And it's actually unproductive. 
So I feel like the more that I compare myself to other people, the less productive I'm becoming, which is bad because I need to be productive in what time I have set aside to do my work. So if I'm using that time just to look at other people and think, oh no, maybe I shouldn't be doing stuff the way I'm doing it, maybe I need to change, is that a helpful thing to happen? I'm not sure it is. Sleeplessness is a huge thing for us at the moment. You can see the various camp beds in Ted's bedroom um, because Ted hasn't been very well. Really bad chest, sort of a cold, but he hasn't been able to breathe through his nose. So it's been really scary and we've been taking it in turns to lie on the mattress at night, but then he's been snoring so you don't get any sleep anyway. So I do feel like potentially this week everything has got on top of me because we haven't slept and that is bad. Not sleeping is bad. Right, let's go into my office. One of the problems that I have, let's just talk about this, is, um, you know, on the scale of world problems, it's not a massive problem. In terms of my life and my work life, it's becoming a little bit of an issue. And that is, I have two separate websites. I've got a Model Recommends, which is beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and then I have The Uphill, which is baby, family, a bit more sort of relaxed and casual and a bit more about me. Now, it started off as a really good idea having these two separate platforms. And, you know, on the one hand, it works really, really well because I feel like there are things I wouldn't necessarily want to put on a model recommends um, because I like to keep that more about beauty, really. And there are beauty things I probably wouldn't put on the uphill because I like to keep it just really easy, really casual and quite sort of self-deprecating and, and fun, okay? Then I started thinking recently, there have been loads of things that have really crossed over. For example, um, when I wrote about my infertility story and put that on a model recommends, huge, huge amounts of people reading it. And I started to think, Maybe, and also when I write about myself or family or anything on a Modern Recommends, uh, it's really, really popular. So I started to think, am I missing a trick here? Am I actually making life more difficult for myself, um, as well as missing out on readers by separating the two? Why not just bundle the whole thing together, as Ruth Crilly, for example, um, and go from there? I don't know. What do you think? When I put this on Instagram, almost unanimously people voted to have everything on one platform because they liked seeing everything and they just felt that it would be sort of nicer, a more rounded approach to me, or a more rounded representation of me. What do you think? Would you mind everything being on one channel? I mean, I could label it. I know, actually, this is deja vu because I have talked about this before and maybe a couple of years ago. But I could label it so that all the videos, you know what it is from the title and what kind of content it will be, um, if that helped people. But basically, it would all just be here under Ruth Cree, or if you can think of a better name. Um, can't think of a better name than using your own name. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. I'll be really interested to know your feedback on this. And I think, I feel like this is gonna be the biggest change. And maybe the one that helps me the most is finally working out what I want to do going forward in terms of work. Because things, if anything, since I've had babies have just got busier and busier. And I find it really hard mentally to, having two platforms feels like twice the amount of work. So I hope that um, this hasn't sort of been too much of an information dump for you or uh, an offloading session. I feel a lot better for offloading. So thanks for that, everyone. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then I'm at Model Recommends or at Uphill Baby. Um, and in fact, I'll put all the links to my various things below. But it does get complicated. So maybe it'd be nice to streamline it. That was all I was thinking. So your help would be much appreciated and I shall see you in the next video.